Hello, by the end of this course, you will be able to Describe matter Describe the three different states of matter Describe how matter can change states Identify solids, liquids and gases Hello, my name is Mr. Beaker We are going to explore the science laboratory and we are going to learn about matter today Let's begin by looking at what matter is. Matter is everywhere. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Matter comes in three different forms of solids, liquids and gases. Let me show you some examples. Each of these items takes up space even if you cannot see it or hold it. Wood is a solid. You can see and touch wood. Sand is a solid. Sand is very small pieces of crushed rocks. When you combine many pieces of sand, it can become a beach. You can see and touch sand. Ice is a solid. Ice is frozen liquid. You can see and touch ice. Rain is a liquid. Rain is water that falls from the sky and takes up space in the sky as it falls. When it hits the ground, it takes up space in the form of a puddle. You can see rain, but it will fall through your fingers if you try and hold rain. Milk is a liquid. You can see milk. However, if you try and hold milk, it will run through your fingers. Air is a gas. You can feel gases like when the wind blows. You cannot see or hold air. Helium is a gas. Helium is lighter than air and when it is put inside of a balloon, it will cause the balloon to rise into the sky. You cannot see or hold helium. Steam is a gas. Steam expands freely into the air. You can see steam, but you cannot hold steam. Matter can change from being a liquid to a solid or to a gas. Let's look at some water and see how this works. Drag the beaker of water to the freezing chamber. Good job! Water, when frozen, becomes ice. Ice is a solid. Now, drag the beaker of ice to the burner. Good! Now, press the heat button on the burner to see what happens. When the solid frozen water is heated, it becomes liquid again. Press the heat button again to see what happens when we heat the water. When the water heats up and boils, it creates steam. Steam is a gas. The steam expands freely in the air. Now, let's see how much you have learned. Can you identify these objects as a solid, liquid or a gas? Drag each item to the correct column, then click Submit. Congratulations! You have identified the items as a solid, liquid or a gas.
Congratulations, you have completed states of matter. You have described matter, described the three different states of matter, described how matter can change states, identified solids, liquids and gases. Thank you.